Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make sparkly unicorns. <clears throat> I mean, today I'm going to be showing you how to 3D print diffraction patterns. So I have a problem. My daughter's demanding a sparkly unicorn. I'm a sparkly unicorn. But I don't have one, but I do know how to make sparkles. Sparkles happen when you shine white light on something that can break up the white light into the individual color components that make up the white light. So you can shine white light through a prism and it'll make a rainbow pattern, but it's really hard to make a prism unicorn. Now a better way to do this is to use something called a diffraction grating. The diffraction grating by itself doesn't look that cool, but watch what happens when you look through it or shine light through it. You can see that it breaks up the white light into individual colors. The reason it does this is because there's linear grooves on the diffraction grating. And as the light shines through it, it blocks light and then lets light through in a linear pattern. And this causes constructive and destructive interference in different areas so that there are some bright spots and some dead spots but the amount that it spreads depends on the wavelength of light. For example, if I shine a red laser through this, you can see that it's going to space out at further distances than when I shine a blue laser. So if you shine white light through it, it splits it up into the individual colors because their wavelength is different. But the cool thing with the diffraction grating is you don't just have to let the light shine through it to see the diffraction pattern, but you can also imprint the diffraction pattern on different things. For example, in the past, I made rainbow chocolate by pouring chocolate on the diffraction pattern and it imprinted it onto the chocolate. So I wanted to see if it's possible to 3D print on the diffraction pattern and get a rainbow pattern on that 3D print. Now normally getting different colors on 3D prints is really hard. You have to change out the filament or have some complex printer that can use different filaments at the same time. But if this is able to work with the diffraction grating, what it does is there's not actually different colors on the 3D print itself, but the light is actually reflecting and then spreading out into the individual colors of the white light. So first I just tape the diffraction pattern down onto the 3D printer base. You just have to make sure that the diffraction pattern is actually facing upward. You can tell a little bit by rubbing your finger on it and it makes a little bit of sound. Or you can put some silly putty on it and see if you see a little rainbow pattern on the silly putty. So I'm using PLA here and hopefully it's going to melt enough to get into those microscopic grooves in the diffraction pattern. Now before we see if this works, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video. I'll give you one guess who it is, but you already know, it's Raid Shadow Legends. You can use my QR code or links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. And then you can fight these really cool bosses like this one, Melek Kavar, Guardian of the Void Keep. If you can figure out the stuff I do on my channel, I bet you can figure out how to beat this guy. The main trick to fighting Malik is dealing with all the poison he puts out. He has an ability that deals all the poison damage you could take all at once. His poison debuffs can't be blocked or resisted, so you'll need shield buffs and healing to counteract the damage. Raid is the most immersive experience you'll find on a smartphone. Raid has all the features you'd expect from a brand new RPG title, like an amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics, giant boss fights, PvP battles, and hundreds of champions to collect and customize. Raid has a ton of events happening this month with the fresh rotation of the brutal Hydra boss and a ton of events and tournaments every single day, including some special Valentine's Day events where you can get your hands on a brand new legendary champion. There's seriously never been a better time to get you started. And if you use my link or scan the QR code right here, new players will get a free starter pack worth almost $30 to kickstart your game. We're talking a free champion like Aina, 200k silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and the 1 ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in the game. You'll find your rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. Once you're in, you can find me in the game under the name at the Action Lab. And if you're fast, you can join my clan. It's that easy, just click the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. Now let's get back to our experiment. Okay, it's done printing, let's see what this actually looks like. Whoa, it totally worked. Look at this, look how cool that is. So we were able to copy the pattern right onto the 3D print. So the reason that you're seeing color now is because it's splitting up the white light into the individual color components that make up the white light. Here's another one I did where the body actually moves that looks pretty cool too. It doesn't have to be just white either. It actually looks pretty cool to do it in a different color like this gray here. I think my favorite is doing it on a darker color like this gray here. It really makes the rainbow color stand out. Now the moment of truth. Let's see if she likes it. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. 
and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.